Hello, and thank you for joining me. Okay, I want to talk a bit about a party I've probably mentioned before. Um, this is a relatively new political party, um, pretty new actually, I think it's only about two years old. Um, and it was founded by, as I understand it, Sandy Tosk, Fig, and some others, the party leader is Sophie Walker, and it is the Women's Equality Party now. As a strong critic of third wave feminism, I um, I had my misgivings about this party, and um, nothing that I've seen so far has really swayed my um, my preconceived ideas about this. Um, but I say preconceived, but what I decided to do yesterday was go to the Facebook page and post a few basic questions, um, in order to give them a chance. To think, okay, well, I'll play the devil's advocate. I don't like what I see from this party. I have strong misgivings about this party. But I'll play the devil's advocate and see what they say. Um, now, before I talk about the response that I got, some people might say that I'm trolling. Um, here's the thing. I take the view that political parties need to be open to scrutiny. They need to be open to questions from the public. Now. If if you interpret every negative comment on a Facebook page as trolling, i.e. every dissenting view, every dissenting question that doesn't kind of toe the party line, then how are political parties going to engage with people that don't agree with them? Anyway, um, th that's the way I, I view it. It's not like I'm, you know, sending spamming message is just insulting them. Um, or attacking individuals or anything like that. I believe that would be trolling. But anyway, this is the questions I asked, and I'm going to paraphrase myself and the response. So bear with me. These were my questions. In terms of membership, the Women's Equality Party is sizable, and so you may have some traction in this election. As such, as a voter, I have some straightforward questions and would appreciate direct answers. As you purport to be about equality, if a woman commits a crime of the same gravity, and in the same circumstances as a man, let's say GBH, that's grievous bodily harm, when she is drunk, should she receive the same equal punishment as a man? Yes or no? If not, why do you believe she should receive special treatment? A direct answer, please, no deflection. Okay, well, I'll, I'll respond to the answer um, to that first. It isn't even an answer, but I'll, 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 um, I'll paraphrase what they quoted. So someone from the Women's Equality Party has replied, rape law, and, the, and then she puts a link to rape law from Wikipedia. That's the answer. Now the question I ask is not about rape law, it's about sex in cases, for example, of assault. I made a video yesterday about the drinking problem we have in this country. Um, and, and there have been, frankly, cases where women have escaped prison solely because of their gender. It's a fact. So she done exactly what I asked her politely not to do, which was deflect. She didn't answer the question directly. She just deflected, put a, uh, a link that's connected to a specific crime. When I was asking about the general issue of sentencing, um, she's put a link to rape. I, I didn't even mention rape, so I don't know why she felt the need to respond that way. This was my second question. In the event that you win seats, will you continue to only focus on half the population or will you be a party for everyone? If your focus is solely on women, do you concede that you're a campaigning feminist movement as opposed to a party that would one day aspire to significant political representation at council or national level? How can you insist you're a positive movement when your entire focus is on telling women they're victims and telling men that they're princes of privilege? Do you consider this divisive approach to be responsible, especially given that male suicide rates are significantly higher? OK, to be fair, that is more than one question. And to be fair, I'm perhaps being a little bit cheeky there. But it is a provocative um, question, angle that I'm taking, because I do believe that so far this party has been given a free ride by the media. So if it doesn't come down to individual voters to engage and to hold these people to account, who will? They've been given a free ride by the media. Um, you know, whenever the Women's Equality Party has been on the BBC, it's basically been very soft questions and more or less agreeing with the party line. You would not see that with pretty much any other political party. Um, 
you know, especially not right-wing parties led by men that say UKIP. Not that I'm a fan of UKIP, but it is a fact that there is not a level playing field when it comes to the way the questions are asked. Okay, so her response is quite lengthy. She's basically uh, paraphrasing my question. She says it's based on a false premise that WA, as she abbreviates, are currently a party which only focuses on half the population. We believe the impact of our policies are better for everyone. I don't see anything that um, would convince me to that argument. Um, she again accuses me of a false premise. WA are not focused solely on women. Well, yes, you are, actually. However, since you asked, our ambition is to not exist because all our objectives have been achieved and we can move on with our lives. Power for power's sake is not something that interests us. Well, that implies that they are the only party that have women's interests at heart, which is blatantly nonsense. If you look at the Green Party, if you look at the SNP, if you look at the Labour Party, the idea that there's no feminist representation in those parties is beyond absurd. Um, and not just in those parties, I would argue in every political party. So I just don't buy their claim that they are the only party that has women's interests at heart. It's, it's nonsense. Um, I get, she basically just keeps repeating herself and saying that I'm making false premises. Um, yeah, so it, it's a very disappointing response, not a surprising response. I didn't expect much better, to be honest. But I'm disappointed. I, I was frankly hoping to be... To be proven wrong somewhat, because frankly, I don't want a situation where this is a growing party. It's got 65,000 members. I feel they need to be held to account. And I was hoping they wouldn't be as radically feminist and as narrow as I thought they were. Unfortunately, my preconceived ideas were right. They are as narrow minded and as, as um, radically feminist as, as I believe so there you have it um yeah i i don't know why they have so many members i i guess they must have you know strong campaigners they've got the feminists to be energetic and campaigning from i don't really know um i'm not a pollster but i hope they don't win seats because i do consider them a divisive party nothing in that answer was um give me any indication at all that they are an egalitarian party it's basically just predictable feminist soundbites.